We got into New York and on uh, March 15th, March 15th, you have to speak into the microphone, asshole. <laughs> can't speak into the microphone. <laughs> that was a really a private moment. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> On March 15th, I, um, I was very excited. Uh, it was either on March 15th or maybe a day or two after. I can't quite place it, but, but it was the day in which, for the first time, our government was going to come on and on the TV and tell us, the people, how we were going to deal with the coming pandemic not only as a group, but individually. I was so excited, I called Kathleen, I said, fuck, we're not in charge anymore. <laughs> now we've got real experts who'll be telling us exactly what to do. <laughs> and I was thrilled. I sat down there and, and the first people we saw for the first time ever were, were Dr. Fauci and Dr. Birx. There they were, there they were. And I know that some of you, for sure, have problems with Dr. Fauci. And I, uh, uh, yes, one person screaming in the night. <laughs> the problem sounded like a sexual one there. <laughs> but Dr. Fauci, look, if you had a problem with Dr. Fauci, I'm just gonna tell you this, all right? Would you want his job? Would you want to do what he did? Would you want to be that person who had to come out every day? You, what, are you yelling at him because of what? Because he has the shittiest job on earth and you wouldn't do the job, okay? Nobody wanted that fucking job. We're lucky anybody took the job. <laughs> to come out there and say, it sucks. The next day, it really sucks. It's gonna suck more. This is the, here's the sound. That's how sucky it is. Everywhere you go, suck, suck, suck. It's gonna be shittier and shittier. Fucking unbelievable. Worst job ever. Son of a bitch. The, I, I, the only job that I think could be worse is if you were douching elephants for a living. <laughs> unbelievable. And people were pissed at Fauci. Oh, he got money from Pfizer. Fuck you. That was a lie. Oh, but he was rich. Oh, you idiots, of course he was rich. He's a doctor, numbnuts. <laughs> I believe that the, who they should have hired to do the job, I think what would have made it possible for everybody in the country to not be upset was they should have just had a, 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 a fucking peacock. I mean it. The peacock should have come out with the announcement every day, and the peacock could have stro you know, or whatever noise a peacock made. And underneath there'd be a fucking translation of the peacock. And then everybody would watch, they'd turn the TV on, I can't wait to see what the peacock has to say. And Fauci and Burke stood there, and they began to speak, and none of us knew what the fuck they were talking about. We'd never heard or seen anything like this in our lives, ever. And God damn it. And, 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 and about a third of the way through, it was becoming clearer and clearer what they were saying. And it was really quite simple. And what they were saying was, we're fucked! <laughs> we're totally fucked! <laughs> At this point, our leader pushed them aside and with nary a stethoscope in sight, <laughs> he strode to the mic because he wanted to be sure we remained calm. And he knew that these two weren't going to help. So he decided he was going to tell us how we were going to deal with what was going to be happening. And he could do that because he is the first president ever elected, ever, thank you.
the first president ever elected who just knows stuff. Yeah. Look, I've lived through a... I have lived through a lot of presidents. And none of them knew shit. But this president really was fucking on top of the game. This president knew fucking every fucking thing you could know. Not these idiots. God damn it. All of a sudden, finally. And he... <laughs> He knew how much wood a woodchuck would. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. He knew how many cords. He knew how many cords of wood. He memorized all of the um, recipes in the Betty Crocker cookbook. Yes, he did. Yes, he fucking did. Why? Because he could do it. And at this point, he explained just how the virus would come to us and what would happen. And he said it would be like the flu. It would just come and then, whoop, it would go. It is what he said. And, and he got the timeline off. But everybody got the timeline off. Everyone did. They're still not sure about the timeline, okay? He got it off. He was wrong, okay? And the reason everybody has been wrong is because everybody's got a fucking theory about how this virus came to be, all right? And I'm the only one who actually knows what happened. <laughs> and yeah, that's right. And lucky, lucky you are here with me this evening. so that I can tell you the story. This, many people think, oh, it came out of the lab in Wuhan. It did not come out of that lab. That would require intelligence, all right? And when intelligence is involved, this kind of shit doesn't happen. This happens when, it's, when something fucking stupid happens. And what happened was this. Quite simply, somebody fucked a bat. Somebody fucked a bat. Somebody fucked a bat. I don't think you're listening. Somebody fucked a bat. Someone said, hey, I'm gonna fuck a bat. They saw the bat. They said, oh, look at how cute that bat is. I'm gonna fuck that bat. They took their little ears on that bat and pushed them down on the table, pulled their penis out and put it inside a bat. I know it disgusts me to talk about it. Makes me sick. Hey, listen, here's something simple. If you like the video, press like and subscribe to the channel and you'll be seeing all sorts of content. Content like this or this or... There's, there's supposed to be some videos here and that's what they told me, but I don't, I don't see anything. I hope you do.